So welcome to a trilogy of rainbow trips. This film documents three trips that I've had to rainbow over the past couple of years and kickstarting things off when myself and Paul Hudson went to rainbow fish in the island for two weeks which was back in 2017 and the trip started off unbelievable and I'm sure I'd only fished with one one rod for the first four days because it was kicking right off from the get-go Well, well, welcome to another epic adventure at the incredible rainbow. This current plot of empty land that you can see is the island swim where dreams were made for me last year. Oh, I'd be oh, mega to catch that thousand scale out of there. Oh God, thousand, thousand scale. Out. Out. 71 pounds. Quite simply, what's just happened the last two weeks is just been incredible. Oh my god, that is a big that's that's a proper big one. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, I knew that SLK was Jesus man, that is heavy. Yes. Oh, I'm oh, buzzing with him. A big one. Yes. So, yes. Yeah, this is the island swim once again. That is the water that we've been fishing for the last two weeks where we have had an epic, epic adventure. what he does. So, welcome to my island adventure. What a buzz it's been. Yes! <laughs> The reason I'm here is I dreamed big dreams. I dreamed the kind of dreams that other people said would not be possible. I'm also living proof. This isn't a Hollywood movie. I come literally from the other side of the tracks. If you saw where I grew up and we took a picture of it, the neighborhood, the setting, you say it's not, it's impossible that someone could come from there and get here.
Mm. Oh, that's not a bad start. That's not a bad start at all. That'll do. Big scale comment. <laughs> not the normal way that I start one of these without an epic battle from an epic looking creature like the one I've got here. And yeah, unfortunately I didn't have any of the camera equipment set up, but he is an absolute minter. Right, well, what a way to start this island adventure with none other than this 47 pound common. Oh man, absolutely buzzing with this one. What an epic start. I'm only fishing with one rod. I couldn't even get any of the camera equipment set up to film this one because I'm still trying to sort out other rods. But man, what a start to the island. Oh, yes! Mwah. What a creature. Nice! <laughs> Two days in, incredible. And he went 49 pounds and 14 ounces, so a little shy of the 50 pound mark, but you know what? I'm made up with this one. Absolutely buzzing to have caught him. What an immense looking animal. 57 pound, 13 ounces this one went. And oh man, what a carp. Go on in, sweet pea. one ounce is this one went an absolute mega car what an animal this is 48 pounds So it was insane what went on from that trip. I've, from the get-go, like I said, it, or as you can see, it was manic. It was that manic, in fact. It was really difficult to film some of the fish. There was rods flying off whilst I was trying to film fish. I think I got a lot of footage of bushes, basically, because I've just had to put the fish straight back, get back out there, play another one. And unfortunately, a lot of the fish on that trip I didn't get to film properly, but I had some magnificent carp, some truly special, special creatures. One of them being, I think it was 46 pound black jet black. I had a common as well that was another, like, they were that, that mega. And then, yeah, from 
that point on I had a bit of an issue with the video glasses for some reason they kept going green on me so that was a little bit of a nightmare and it's been a little bit of a struggle to obviously put that film together due to the few issues that I had with A not filming fish and B the video glasses going green on me don't know what that was all about very strange but we ended up with around about 93 fish I believe it was for that trip and yeah yeah a, a proper memorable one that is for sure and then following on from that a year later I got to go into the awesome peg 17 now 17 18 is what I would consider two of the best pegs on rainbow and I've been thoroughly looking forward to this trip for the last couple of years I've known that I'm going to be going in either 17 or 18 Paul wouldn't tell me until the week before we started heading off to rainbow and he told me that I'd be in peg 17 and I was thoroughly looking forward to it and that proper kicked off from the get-go. waiting in anticipation for us to get into our pegs and Pascal's just given us the okay I've been waiting forever I've been up since half three this morning so yeah looking forward to this so it's time to go and fish some rainbow down there never actually been in peg 17 before so this will be the first time I've actually walked into the swim seen the swim it's the only swim on the lake that I've not actually been in I've obviously walked in all the others but where it's off the road a little bit don't tend to come in here much so the first look at the beautiful peg 17 so this is home for the next two weeks oh yes epic man i'm looking forward to this it's all been raked and brushed out oh it's beautiful got a nice big boat and all man this looks cool god that brazilian's changed since i last looked at it four five years ago oh man i'm so buzzing for this the swim is massive it's a lot bigger than i thought it was a lot lot bigger so yeah i'm just wondering where i put everything at the minute taking it all in i suppose and that is where the beasts lay along that back there so a lot of the fishing in this swim will be just you can land them from the bank you know if I, if, if I get any hook pulls then I'll start jumping in the boat chasing them I suppose a bit more exciting in the boat chasing the fish about but I'll have the rod set up in the front here hit into them and then just walk back walk back here to keep them away from obviously hell on earth which is them snags opposite there. Oh man, I'm proper looking forward to this. Can't wait, cannot wait. Right, let's get 
the bivvy down. Oh, man, I'm probably looking forward to this. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna switch this off, sit in the boat for a minute and take it all in. all set this is a lead arrangement I was going to be using it's a double lead system where the second lead this one being the furthest one away from the rig is held in place with an XL tail rubber as you can see I've left my tag end of my leader long you can slide over the top the XL tail rubber and this holds that six ounce lead in place the opposite end where you've got the rig, it's on a running rig system. This 12 ounce lead is held in place with a PVA zip tie, so it's a six ounce lead that the fish always feels the resistance of. With depths of 30 foot in the margins, all fish can be landed from the bank. There's a snag ridden island 100 yards out, which is where I was going to place my rigs with depths of 27 foot below these snags, all the way up to the island shelf. There's many options of where to place your rigs. I was going to fish two rods in the deep water with the other two in the shallower 10 foot of water onto the island shelves. With all four spots baited for the night, I enjoyed a magnificent Peg 17 sunset. Sunday, so a bit of an up there. I've just had a psycho tench and had a 44 pound common early hours of this morning. I just sort of put him straight back, sort of thing. I didn't do any film. Well, I did a little bit of filming on my phone of him swimming back, but yeah, nice little start, I suppose. Having a 40 straight away, very nice. So because it was dark, it was about four o'clock this morning, I just put him straight back rather than keep him for any longer than I needed to. So, so yeah, and that was over 10 kilos of bait as well. So yeah, good sign that they're having a good feed, obviously. So, and that was on the deep spot in front of the snag. Whereas this rod that keeps going with bream and tench is right in there. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look at another spot, the other side of the snag. And yeah, I'm gonna bait that one as well. Because if these tension bream just carry on with this spot, then I'm gonna move it. I've had about four bream and a tench since yesterday evening. Rod only, rods only been out for 12 hours. But I only got them two rods out. I baited the other two spots, one behind the Brazilian with about a kilo of bait. And then the other one, in front of Freddy's fingers, I'm going to call it. I put 10 kilo of switch there and didn't put a rod on it, so just let him have a feed for a while. I still haven't got rods on it now, so Paul's doing all right. He's had four now since yesterday. So like I say, you know, we we didn't get the rods out till late yesterday evening. So a nice start for the pair of us, definitely. 
this tree being one of the main snags in Peg 17 sits above 27 foot of water. Moving this rod to the right hand side of this tree onto a small shelf I found in 10 foot of water, using the double lead system and placing the second lead towards this snag would ensure that the fish would always run away from this woodwork into the deep snag free water. Using the bollocks rig with two 18mm SLK wafters, the 50 pound camo splice hook link and notice a short section of leadless leader between the two leads. This was the perfect length to sit onto the shelf in 10 foot of water next to the main snag. With the rod strapped down with Velcro either side of the butt rest, the drag done up until you got no more clicks, it was ready for battle. Right, well, this one, most definitely worth a photo and a good filming session with this beast. Whoa. Come on, pig, calm down. Put her down for a second. She's a little bit spawned out on a rod that I'd actually moved yesterday because I was getting breamed out on it. So I moved it and within half hour, I'd had a bite on it with a small one. And this is the biggest one it's done so far. Oh, look at that absolute pig. Proper lovely carp. 56 pound, 11 ounces she went. Absolutely mint over the moon with this. Oh, couldn't be happier. So I get a couple of snaps, send her back to her watery home. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, girl.
this one is much needed, definitely. Especially after getting a hook pull right in the edge from what I think was a big one. This one has confirmed things for me as to how I was setting the rig up. So, look at her. All right, easy go. Come on. At 44 pound and some in ounces. And yeah, I've basically changed the rig and taken that shrink tubing off and it was hooked right in the bottom lip. So sometimes overcomplicating things can hinder your captures, I suppose. But this one nailed in the bottom lip, took that angle liner off and it's doing the do. Well chuff with this one from the deep water again, buzzing. Yes! Mwah. Thank you, girl. Right, let's get some pickies. Yes! <laughs> manic morning this is turning out to be god i definitely wished i had my cards downloaded last night instead of trying to do it all this morning whilst it's mega hectic in the swim but it's well and truly mission complete I wanted to come here to catch a giant common and a giant common is exactly what I've caught. Oh, absolutely over the moon. Check this beast out. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, absolutely made up. New PB common of 61 pounds, five ounces. And I couldn't be happier. I am absolutely buzzing. Yes! Mwah. And this one, even though the SLK has been doing all the big ones, this was on the switch. What a fish. Yes! Mwah. Thank you, beast. <laughs> Mwah. Thank you, Rainbow. Oh, what a beast. Don't want to say goodbye whatsoever. Absolutely buzzing. What a hell. Legend. Cheers, Paul. Yeah. This fish had powered off into the snaggy left-hand margin. Taken to the boat, I could feel this powerful carp trying desperately to get away. The line was caught around one branch and soon as it was off, I could feel the fish powering down into the deep water. With the rod arced over, this felt like familiar territory. I 
knew all I had to do was be patient, get above the fish in the hope to get it away from these marginal snags and in the hope to get it back into the deep water again. As I got directly above the fish, slowly I was gaining line. As a branch appeared, I could see I was still attached to a very big car. The branch pinged free and I was back in direct contact with the fish. With the boat in position and the motor in full throttle, it was time to get this fish clear of this margin and back into the 30 foot of water. pound one ounce common absolutely mint over the moon so the old slk doing what it does best at the mighty bow yes oh i'm chuffed to bits with this one absolutely mint he is oh yeah man oh yes oh yeah <sighs> well good morning Saturday morning then and we're a week in now officially guys in 16 have just turned up don't know if you can see him out there he's out by the Brazilian so yeah yeah what happened last night so all three of these went last night that one went with a 20 pound common and this one went with a 40 pound mirror and then this one went with a 50 pound mirror and criminal i know i actually put it back without any photos or anything but i did catch it on the island two years ago now when i had thousand scale funny enough i had i had that 50 pounder so you know just got him straight back in the water it was about two o'clock last night in the morning so yeah just put him straight back into the water without any photos or video so so yeah that's last night's events sort of thing there's been some proper pigs jumping out on this rod this morning so i've lengthened the hook link a little bit i've made it a little bit longer so I'm about 24 25 centimeters just to see maybe if that will pick me a slightly bigger fish up or not who knows so so yeah looks like it's going to be another beautiful day that's for sure and yeah another week to go my battery's just died so that died on cue so that's lasted me a week so i've got one more left i'm gonna put the kettle on go and get me breadstick and breadsticks up here let's go and grab this breadstick dropped off from this morning from pascal beautiful that was lucky it's bird <laughs> there bird <laughs> on your on your uh Chibata, I was about to say then. It's not a chibata, is it? It's a baguette. Bloody hell, it's too early. And I haven't had my morning cup of tea yet. Let's hope today's a nice eventful one. Really looking forward to this. It's a couple, there's a couple more Dutch geezers that have just moved into 16. I think Kirk, I think his name is. He likes the tunes as well. So yeah, I've been missing the music a little bit lately. So Hopefully he plays them nice and loud so I can carry on hearing it. In the meantime, let's hope one of these rods rips off for that early morning bite. That would be nice. Yet another giant common at 57 pounds another victim to the SLK.
Right, or oh, how about that? For an absolute peach of a carp. She is mega. 45 pound, 12 ounces of pure rainbow brute. Yes! <laughs> On the same rod as I had that 50 pounder this morning, so proper chuff with him. <sighs> what a beast. Mwah. start any Tuesday than with a giant like this one. Oh, 50 pounds and one ounce of beautiful rainbow mirror. Why? Oh, yeah. Proper angry. she's still got fight left in her I'll never know but look at that thing 55 pound and if I'd have lost it I'd have said it was a hundred pound catfish what an angry angry creature this one is oh man proper insane fight me back is done in but I couldn't be more happier oh what a carp yes <laughs> the best days fishing ever. She went to your old giants like this one. Come on then. Look at that bloody thing. Unbelievable. 51 pound and something ounces. I'm too blown away to notice. That is one incredible beast. Three bites, three 50 pounders. Man, I love Tuesdays. Yes! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
that was a fight of my life, that. My heart is racing. <sighs> right. As if it ain't hard enough holding up 50 pounds, trying to film all this on your own is just not ideal. But, <laughs> oh, whinging aside, this right here is my fourth 50 pounder today. Unbelievable, oh, easy beast. She is a proper epic car, but she is angry as hell. Come on, darling, I'll put you back in a second. Just want a little look at you. There we go. And yeah, what an immense beast. 50 pound, 15 ounces, this one. And it fell to the switch. So that's two on the SLK today and two on the switch. Unbelievable session. I am truly buzzing. Yes! <laughs> wow. It's been no noise the whole morning. Oh, I'll just go with it anyway. Good morning. Wednesday morning, second part of the week. And oh, I've got to talk about yesterday because that was insane. Oh, what a day's fishing that was, man. Oh, wow. Proper, proper, epic, epic, epic day's fishing. Yes, I am loving life big time. Four 50 pounders on the bounce, four bites, four 50 pounders, and then I did a live feed on the Fox Facebook page yesterday as well and managed to get a live bite whilst we were doing the live feed. And it was the SLK rod, this rod here that that did me the live bite, and it was a 30 pounder, 30 pound common. And weirdly enough, I've had I've had two 50 pounders, or, or yesterday I had two 50 pounders on that rod, a common and a mirror, and then a 30 pound common. And then on the switch rod, I had two 50 pounders on that, a common and a mirror. And then last night, or this morning, should I say, about 4 a.m., I had a 30 pound common on it. So it's like, it's like a fight club between the two baits. Go on, the switch and SLK, fight it out. Let's see what today brings. Hopefully a whacker Wednesday would be really nice. Really nice. But even if I have a blank day, to be honest, I am on cloud nine after yesterday's antics. That was amazing. Proper amazing. Don't think I'll ever repeat that here, ever. Where do I need to be slightly? This way, let me move you, not that way. Let's make life a bit easier. So, we're on Wednesday now, obviously. Still buzzing off of that manic, manic day yesterday. And a rod that hasn't gone for a few days, it's gone at night, but it's not been going in the day has gone this morning with an absolute giant like this one. Look at him. Absolute, come on Lee, hold him properly. Absolutely mega. 57 something? 57 too. <laughs> and, uh, and I couldn't be more happier. Absolutely buzzing. Another switch victim and another Rainbow giant. Thank you, girl. One for your head and all. You beauty. <sighs> Back's done it. <sighs> Come on, sweetheart. Where are you going, girl? Yes! I don't think there's a better way you can start your very last day than with a 53 pounder. This must be fish number 12 over 50 pound from this session. Unbelievable. Yes!
It's another 50 pound. <laughs> What a trip. Thank you, Gal. Epic. So Peg 17, that was an amazing trip, that was one of the best swims on the lake, like I've said, and and yeah, it kicked off from the get-go, to be honest, I had an amazing amount of carp from that swim, I think it started off with some 40 pounders, and then I believe the whole trip in the end, I ended up with 13 or 14 fish over 50 pound and yeah i just i couldn't believe the stamp of carp that i was catching at 17 just mega absolutely mega a trip to remember that was it was so so hectic i had some i had some big grassies i some of the grassies that um that live in there there's there's one which I'm sure it was about 60 pounds. To be honest, it looked bigger than 60 pounds, which I managed to get into the net, but it just jumped straight out of the net as I netted him. There are absolute lunatics in there. And then on the very last night, I hooked what must have been a, a giant. It had to have been a giant. I hooked this fish and it was going sort of left and right underneath the rods, underneath the rod tips and it sort of went left and then it went right, then it went left and I'm feeding it under the rods and I sort of just give it, you know, just just give it the double hander basically and the rod had hooped over and the fish never levitated off of the bottom whatsoever so I began to obviously start crapping myself at that point and uh yeah the fish was coming up and coming up and coming up in the water and just as it was about to breach the surface the hook fell out absolutely gutted it's still leaving a sour taste in my mouth now to be honest with you it's one of them things and i'm desperate for a big common out of here a giant common i had um in 17 i had a 60 pound common which is a giant don't get me wrong that is a humongous fish but there's a lot of bigger commons that live in here you know we're talking 70s and 80s that live in rainbow and it would just be an absolute dream to catch one of them proper special commons that swim around in here and as of yet i'm still waiting for that moment to be honest come very close on the island with paul but one thing or another you know that fish just didn't count that we had had on the island it's another story i won't get into that but yeah, I'm now currently back onto the island and I'm on the left hand side this time. Now it's a bit of an off the cup, off the cuff trip. This one is as I'm here with Jason Trott from DNA and he was meant to be out here with his partner in crime, Steve Carey, but unfortunately Steve couldn't make this trip. So Jace asked whether I could take his spot and I kindly obliged, of course. So with it being Jace's trip, he chooses what side of the swim he wanted to go on and he wanted to go onto the right hand side of the swim, which is the side that I'm familiar with. So fishing the left hand side is just a whole new world on the island. The left hand side is, is completely different to what the right hand side is. And the lake hasn't been fishing too great for the last three weeks prior to this trip. The island hasn't done anything. It's done no bites whatsoever, which is just unheard of, to be honest. Very, very strange. So we're going to be up against it. I knew it was going to be a tough trip, but... The rest of this film documents what went on for me and Jace whilst on the island.
<laughs> so for the start of the trip, the trip couldn't have gone any better for Jace, to be honest. His first bite, which was from the thousand scale spot where I'd caught thousand scale from, ended up being a giant for him. 60, it, he said, you know, I'd, I'd love to catch a 60 pound common out of rainbow or a 60 and and yeah first morning rod hooped over and he landed himself this absolute mega mega common at 69 pound five ounces i believe it went and a new pb for jace that one is so jason put that one back and and then the following day i ended up getting a bite Unfortunately, I haven't got any footage of this, so you'll have to take my word for it, but I hooked an absolute Leviathan. Leviathan, is that the right word? Giant Leviathan, mahusive carp. It was ready for netting and the hook pulled. Absolutely gutted, considering this island has been fishing that tough, you know, getting a hook pull on any lake no matter where you are they all hurt but when you see them and they're absolutely huge i know they're all massive when you lose them i actually saw this fish and you know, it fell off gutted it was a mirror it wasn't a big common i think it was one of the 70 pound mir uh, mid 60 mirrors to be honest could have gone 70 pound it was humongous but you know one of them things and then after that jc had managed to bank himself a lovely mirror lovely 20 pound mirror not long after that i managed to get myself a bite right here we go then so i'm gonna keep the boat straight oh, it's down this channel here so i'm just in this hook here just gonna take it out of once we get near it it's one and then, yeah, I'm just underneath that tree on the left there. Oh, savage bite. Right, he's off. Cool, hello. That'll do. So what's been a bit of a tough trip so far, it's come good in the end with my first bite. Now we're only, well I say only, we are halfway through the week. <sighs> so we've got three more nights to go in the hope that one of the monsters from this place arrives. But in the meantime, 35 pound, 15 ounces this one went. Yeah, and I am more than happy with that at the moment buzzing so i'm gonna get him back and fingers crossed that gnarly little channel rod does me another bite on the switch awesome yeah. <sighs> Boy. right so this is the zone just out here some sort of going from there to this tree to the other hook back to the bank so typical rainbow rod this one you don't sort of get any of this type of fishing really on the right hand side you sort of you get one pole to fish round and that's about it so fishing this left is a lot different from fishing the right of what I'm obviously used to so I'm just gonna scare any fish that might be here with a bit of bait
Bigger than a four. Oh, come on, pig. Come on, pig. Come on, pig. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nicely. do this bit quickly again well after putting a load of switch onto the spot last night in the hope that one of its bigger residents will turn up it has with this absolute mega Ray, 47 pounder absolutely epic i'm buzzing with him if nothing else happens this trip i'll be more than happy with this beautiful giant that's sat in my hands right now proper gnarly head on him a true rainbow giant in the making, I suppose this one is, because there's fish in here almost twice as big as this. fantastic way to end another magnificent trip on the island with this 51 pound 13 ounce mirror unbelievable totally blown away i hope you've enjoyed my highlights whilst being at rainbow the last couple of trips and this has just made the session for me the power of the switch once again me and jace we've had 10 bites on the island all falling to the power of the switch. A massive thank you to Pascal, Nadine, Paul and Max for letting us fish their wonderful home. Long may rainbow continue. Mwah. Thank you.